Hello everyone. On this episode in my tooltip series, I would like to talk to you about how you can use GIFs to help users better understand how to use your Power BI report. Stay tuned to find out how. Hello everyone, Angelica Dominic here, trainer at Pragmatic Works. On this second part of my tooltip series, I want to show you how you can create your own animated GIFs that you can add to your Power BI reports to help explain or uh, improve the end user's experience. Now, sometimes we share reports with individuals that maybe aren't familiar with how to navigate the report. And we want to offer a visual to help explain and make it a bit easier for them to understand what exactly they can do with your report. So let's go right into it. Let's get into our completed solution in the Power BI desktop before I show you how to build this out. All right, here in the Power BI desktop, if you watch the first part of my tooltip series, this report will look familiar to you. Um, if you're interested in learning how you can use tooltips um, on buttons and images, then I definitely recommend checking out that video to learn how you can set up something like this. I will link that video in the description below this one as well. Now, what I want to show you today is how we can create our own animation that is going to show users how to navigate our report. Maybe we know that we're going to share this report with individuals who maybe aren't as familiar with Power BI or aren't familiar with certain visuals, and we want to make it a bit easier for them to navigate. So that's where the uh, GIF can come into play, and I want to show that here. So I've got this already set up, and I'm going to show you how to create this here shortly. But we can use Power BI and PowerPoint to set this up. So what we're going to do here now is I will show you how you can use PowerPoint to create this GIF and then embed this, share this, excuse me, in your Power BI report. All right, so to do this, we want to first go to PowerPoint. And what you'll need once you open PowerPoint is the record tab. So you wanna make sure you have the ability to access the record tab and the screen recording section. So this button right here is what we want to use. So when we select this screen recording here, and you'll see it gives us this little uh, panel here with these additional options to record, to select our area, uh, we can add audio, and we can record the point, pointer if we want to capture that as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the area that we want to be in view for our recording for the GIF we want to have. So I'm going to pretty much bring in the entire report that we have here in view, and I think that is good. So when you are ready, you will hit record. Now, once we do that here, we will then see on the screen, it's gonna let us know we can also use a shortcut to stop the recording. Uh, and I will show that here in just a moment. But let's go ahead, let's hit record, and we'll just walk through this report here, clicking around and kind of giving users an idea of how to navigate the report. Since this report here is showing sales analysis by country, I'm gonna go through the report and view it by country that way. All right.
All right, when you are ready to stop the recording, you can hit that stop button at the top or you can hit the window key, shift and Q at the same time in order to stop your screen recording. Now, here on this slide, we can uh, go in and resize this a bit here, uh, being conscious of the resolution. Um, and I'll just drag this a bit here. And we will center it because we can also kind of resize it further inside of Power BI. I could go in here and also change the size of the slide and be uh, very particular about this, but uh, for now, this is perfect for what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead now and we need to export this as a GIF. So I'm going to select File, Export, and here we can select Create an Animated GIF. Uh, so we want to go ahead and leave the settings as is. That is perfectly fine. So let me go back here. And we really don't need that slide. So let's go ahead and we'll do this again. File, export, uh, create an animated GIF. There we go. I could have just changed the setting here, but um, it's best just to get rid of it as well. And I will save this somewhere on my drive where I can find it. All right, once you have that exported as your GIF, you wanna go back to the report in which you want to pair this with. All right, so here is where we are going to start setting up our tooltip page. So I'm gonna add an additional page at the bottom here and I'm going to right click the report canvas, select that format canvas button. So we want the format pane. You can also access the format pane by going to the view tab and then selecting the format button. So we can bring this open uh, by right clicking the canvas and by going to the view tab as well. So without any visuals selected, the format pane will format your report page. Here is where we want to tell Power BI to treat this page not as a standard report page, but as a tooltip page. So we'll select tooltip and we can see that it's going to shrink down very, very small. And we can go in and resize this here a bit by going to the canvas settings. So I'm gonna collapse the page information section. And we can see here it's currently set to the default tool tipped page size. Let's go ahead and change that to custom. And then I'm going to make this just a bit bigger here. I'll make the height 360 and I will make the width, let's go with 480, not 4,800. All right, we'll start with that there, and if we have to modify it, we can. Now, what we wanna go in and do here is we want to go to the canvas background here, and that's where we're gonna select Browse. Now, once we are in our folder location where our file is, that GIF we created, We'll go ahead and select it and then hit open. Now you'll notice that the transparency is set to 100 and that is not gonna help us see this tooltip. So we wanna drop that down to zero or maybe you would wanna do it a little lighter. I don't know, uh, I'm going to drop it down to zero though. Then we also want to uh, change the image fit. So we can leave it at normal if you were fine with that. Uh, you can select fit or fill um, either way here. So you have a couple of different options here to change this. So let me go in here and see uh, what resizing here will uh, look like for us. I'll go ahead and rename this page to the tooltip GIF and I will also hide this page so um, it is not showing up as an extra page if I publish this to the service. All right, now let's head back over to the page that we want to link this tool tip to. All right, now in order to have our tool tip appear uh, when we hover over this uh, info image or info button, we must kind of use a workaround here. So we're kind of uh, tricking Power BI 
Um, we're not really tricking, but we're just adding in a card visual here. So we're gonna bring in a card visual and we'll resize it uh, about the same size as that info button, that is perfect. And what we'll want to do is we want to add in a measure. Now, we set up a measure in this file previously. I think I have it titled Tooltip Map. Um, the title of the measure doesn't really matter itself. I could go in and rename this if it's you know, gonna bother me a bit here. Um, so I could rename this Tooltip GIF there. All right, now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna format this, because now we can no longer see that info button, so it's not really serving the purpose that we, we want it to here. So over here in the format pane, we wanna to toggle off the category label, and then we also want to go into the size and style, and we want to turn off the background. We don't wanna see that there. Um, I believe we have something else showing here. Oh, no, that is good. There we go. All right, so what we need to do here now for this visual, we need to go to the property section and we wanna to toggle on tooltips and then we want to bring in the tooltip GIF. Now, when we hover over that info button, we will then see our animated GIF that we created by ourselves using PowerPoint. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are interested in staying up to date with all of the videos that we push out here on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. If you're interested in learning more with us here at Pragmatic Works, then definitely check out the link in the description below to sign up and get access to our on-demand learning system where we have a few classes that are on there for free, as well as some other classes on Azure, Power Apps, Power Automate, and DAX. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.